Hey guys, Perju here. In this video, we're going to create this screen on the right. And this is actually a part of a UI kit called NFTX. So if you're interested in checking out the entire UI kit, which we're taking inspiration from, feel free to check out the link in the description. And I also want to remind you that in the previous video, we created this entire screen from scratch. So feel free to check it out if you want to follow from there, but otherwise you can simply look at this tutorial and you're going to learn how to create this screen from scratch. So now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so we're back in Figma and we're going to continue from the screen that we built on yesterday, which is the first screen of this UI kit. So if you want to recreate the screen from scratch, feel free to check out yesterday's video. Now what we're gonna do is uh, we're essentially going to duplicate this uh, and we're going to start uh, building uh, our foundations uh, again from here. So the very first thing that uh, we're gonna do is we're going to create uh, a rectangle here at the very top, which is going to basically be our background. Now before we move on and we actually start creating the background and we're also going to get rid of uh, these elements, uh, um, probably let's just give the bottom one since we can leverage some uh, components but for the most part what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and start creating the individual elements which uh, are going to be at the very top and just to make things easier for ourselves I we're going to lock the uh, top layer and I'm going to go over here and show the layout grid as well. So over here, I'm going to bring this one, uh, this oval on uh, the left side, and I'm going to add a back arrow so that uh, we can uh, go back uh, in uh, the previous screen. So I'm going to bring this one here, switch uh, the direction, make it just a bit smaller, ungroup it, and uh, here we go. Now I'm going to duplicate this uh, and uh, bring it over here. And I'm going to add a few dots. So we can have a menu, the options menu. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. Let's switch the direction. And uh, here we go. All right. At this point, I'm also going to duplicate this uh, again. And I'm going to basically add a profile picture. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make this rectangle smaller in height. And uh, let's uh, add a profile picture. So let's go under plugins. We're going to go under content reel. And we're going to select the images. And then uh, uh, one of these images doesn't really matter um, as long as they're light in uh, their in their composition. So probably something around these lines could work well. And now what we're gonna do next is we're going to add uh, a checkbox, which uh, is going to be with a solid color. We're going to add a check. find a check icon and this uh, would do all right let's make this one white let's uh, increase the size uh, of this check cool so far so good let's group uh, all this together maybe one thing we can consider is adding a stroke it's going to be white on the inside let's do it 1.5 and uh, we are in a good shape. All right. Now, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, some text. So I'm just going to copy and paste this right here. And this one's going to be And uh, then we're going to add some, uh, some bottom text. So I'm going to copy and paste the layer. And let's add uh, some lipsum text. 
and it's super big. So let's just decrease the size and we're also going to add some social media um, text on the right. Okay, let's increase the size just a little bit, maybe to 11 or so. And uh, we are in good shape. Now at this point, before we do that, we're going to start adding some uh, subtext and some other elements. So we're going to have items right here. Select both of these. We're going to center them. Let's group them and uh, duplicate just a few times. Let's distribute uh, horizontally. And let's add the different uh, elements 0 0.24 3 25 and uh, here we go all right um at this point uh, one thing that i'm not seeing is that i actually want to create a bigger heading uh, for these tags maybe also make these these other text here just a little bit bigger let's go with 12 and that looks just about right select all of these distribute horizontally and now what we're gonna do next is we're going to add a Twitter logo Instagram and a discard okay select all of these to 15 pixels we see it horizontally center them up let's bring them here and distribute horizontal spacing and now let's make these uh, uh, darker let's increase the size just a bit all right now at this point what we're gonna do is uh, we're actually going to add the top uh, element so let's go over here let's go announce splash we're going to write nft and we need to select uh, a image which would uh, work well within this given context uh, with this one right here this could work for sure now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to select it again add another fill layer which is going to be a linear gradient this one here is going to be white and this one here is going to be also white but let's uh, uh, let's switch this one up and uh, here we go let's increase the size and uh, we are at a good point now I'm also going to change the color of these guys let's make them dark and then uh, now let's use uh, a rectangle below to create uh, the master uh, selection slider if you wish and let's like this one let's bring it in the center let's make it smaller let's make it white and uh, here we go all right let's bring this one here and now i'm going to duplicate this text i'm going to change it to activity let's bring it all the way to the top and i'm going to add this 
right here. Probably let's increase the size just a little bit. This is the top level menu. And we're going to have uh, items over here. So let's write activity. And let's uh, select this one. And uh, for this one, we're going to go with this icon. All right. Now let's uh, make these just a little bit bigger. Let's change the color to this blue. All right. Let's increase the activity icon just a bit as well. Let's group these guys together. Let's center them up. And uh, here we go. All right, now at this point, I'm going to duplicate this uh, live bidding element uh, here, over here. Let's uh, bring these guys up and we pretty much uh, have it. So we really hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.